In the UK, the repatriation of victims of uh, the Tunisia beachfront shooting last week and continue. Uh, there you're seeing live images from uh, Breeze Norton, RAF base that's in Oxfordshire, England. Nine Britons repatriated uh, today. In all, uh, 30 UK citizens killed in uh, that attack that took place in uh, the tourist resort of Sousse. It uh, certainly wasn't a lone wolf uh, who was responsible. Tunisian authorities announcing eight arrests as they target those who provided logistics for the students who gunned down 38 in all. Terror suspects all over Tunisian news channels. They're accused of providing weapons and logistical support to Saifedean Rezgi, the student who went on a shooting rampage on this beach in Sousse. Less than a week after the attack, Tunisian authorities say the investigation is in full swing. Security units managed to uncover and destroy the network that was behind this terrorist operation. As we speak, eight people have been arrested. They are thought to be directly involved in the attack. Tunisian police say some of the suspects trained in a jihadist camp in Libya apparently in the same area as the gunmen who attacked the Bardo Museum in March. In both cases, the Islamic State organization claimed responsibility for the slaughter. Over the past three months, local authorities say they've carried out more than 7,000 raids and detained more than 100 suspects linked to terrorist activities. Security has been boosted nationwide, particularly in tourist sites. In this hotel, brand new video cameras have been set up under the watchful eye of the Tunisian Prime Minister. There are around 170 cameras in this complex. Some are equipped with a zoom. We've also reinforced security along the country's beaches to tackle the terror threat. Since the 1st of July, tourist police are allowed to be armed. More than a thousand extra officers have also been deployed to protect holidaymakers.